Okay, I'm going to prepare my meal prep for the week for work. Um, I had previously planned, according to Facebook, to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But when I found out my potatoes was trying to get the best of me and let me have it, little roots on. They starting to sprout. You know how they do, right? These little people right here. They started having them little knots on them like they was trying to produce. Knowing better. But anyway, let's get to the point. So, I think I'm going to have to eat french fries to, so I can go ahead and kill the other potatoes before they decide that they're going to die on me and I'm just wasting money. Okay. So, this is not my GB. This is my crock pot insert. I put a liner on it. Y'all look at that 50% off it. You know, that was way back when I worked at Tom Thumb. I used to get them deals, though. That was the last of the Mohican. Last time to spend real money, full price. Back to you. I'm, going, I, I'm hoping to say on cleaning with the, using this bag or whatever here, okay? I'm going to cook this North African cooking sauce or whatever. I'm not real big on sharing recipes with things like this that's, that I'm not certain that you can find anywhere. I bought this, I'm thinking, at Whole Foods. Whole Foods is not everywhere. So, say for instance, if you are a Walmart shopper, I'm not sure you're going to find this one at Walmart. I do not know. I'm not a Walmart shopper like the groceries. I, I really don't care for Walmart like that. So, but because I'm cleaning my pantry, I'm doing a reset, I have to use what's there. And this was in there, so I said, ooh. And I'm hoping it's got a little kick to it. Ooh, please let it have some kick. Okay, I ordered this online. They also sell it in Whole Foods. Now listen, listen, people. Listen. This is kind of scary. Because it's a plant-based chicken. Which means it's not a bird. It's something that has been created. So... This said to add some meat. It, it suggested lamb. But I'm going to cook this separate on the stove, right? Everything else will be going in the crock pot, okay? So let's move on. The African, um, North African sauce also said to add vegetables. I have poblano peppers. These are not necessarily North African, I believe, poblano peppers are more along the Hispanic side, you know. But y'all know what it is. I can't let it go bad because that's a waste of money. Same with this quarter of cabbage. I'm going to put that in the crock pot. I have one final onion into the crock pot. After tasting that sauce, I'm going to determine if I want to go ahead and put in a little knife work on the garlic, right? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and prep everybody and get them into the insert and put it on the actual element that cooks it, right? It says low for six hours. <coughs> I do not have six hours to wait for this. So it's about to be hot for whatever amount of time until the vegetables cook. Because, you know, the flavors of marinade get really into the vegetables here and all that good stuff as it sit in the refrigerator. Because like I said, this is a meal prep. For those of you who don't understand meal prep, meal prep is eating leftovers every day. If you're not big on leftovers... You're not going to really be meal prepping, I'll tell you that right now. You can prepare something today for tomorrow, or you can prepare something today for later today, but that, to me, is not meal prepping. Meal prepping is preparing it and saving yourself time later, down the road, okay? So, let's go ahead and take this little quick intermission or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to stay in school, as you see. Or whatever, in case you don't know what school is. Okay, and I'm going to do all my knife work 
Don't forget, let me move that. Don't forget to pull out your nifty garbage bowl or save all of your scraps from your onions, from your poblano peppers. I usually don't save skins from um, potatoes because you know potatoes kind of is a thickening agent. I'm making stock with the scraps, so I don't want that to be thick. And it, anyways, this recipe, I'm going to use the skin on the potato because I'm one of those people that like that. So I, all I'm really basically is using this bowl to capture the scraps from the poblano peppers, the onion, and possibly the garlic if I use it. Okay. We'll get back to this after a while. Hang tight. Let me do my knife work. Okay, wait a minute, people. <laughs> I done what I supposed to have been doing. This box gives pro tips on the back. See here, I know it's probably backwards. But that's a pro tip or whatever. And according to a pro tip, in order for this to be moist, you need to go ahead and mix everything in it, which is water and, and canola oil is what it's suggesting, and let it sit 20 minutes. So I'm going to do this a little bit while this is, you know, doing this thing, waiting. I'm going to, you know, cut this stuff up while I'm, you know, two birds, one stone if possible, and hit a third one. Might not take them down, but you know what I mean. Okay, let me put this together so we can wait it out. It also gives a pro tip to season. So I'm going to go into my seasoning cabinet and hope that something inspire me to put with this chicken. Okay, hold tight. I'm sure y'all wanted to see this because I wanted to share it with y'all. This almost looked like potato flakes or something, but this is the, the chicken, okay? It's got a funky like chicken smell. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna add 240 milliliters of water, which is one cup. Why you just didn't say that, okay? And we're also gonna add a tablespoon of canola oil plus seasoning. Now I'm gonna put it together, okay? Hold on, people. It doesn't say how much salt to put in, so I just, you know, put the flick of the wrist on it. And I also use an African spice. Um, let me show you what I use. Cameroon spice. This stuff here is very. It'll choke you up like that tonic saturant seasoning does. But this stuff really have kick in it, so I didn't use a lot of it. I just gave four quick little shakes or whatever in hopes that that's enough. I'm going to mix it up, cover it, and do everything else. Okay, everything is cut up, right? We have our yellow onion. We only have one left. We have our poblano peppers cut up. We have the quarter of cabbage and the potato. I'm going to put the potatoes, onions. I'm going to put the onions at the bottom, the potatoes, then the peppers. I'm going to wait a while, maybe 45 minutes, an hour in, and then I'll add the cabbage. Because I'm thinking on high, it should only take two hours, hopefully. My bedtime is about to expire, but don't worry, I took a nap. Whatever has to happen will happen. So I'm going to put everything in. I have 10 minutes left. The timer just went off for the... Um, <laughs> So now we're just going to put everything in, okay? Except the cabbage. We're going to put our yellow onion at the very bottom. Onion always goes first, is what they say, okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to put the poblanos down at the bottom, too. Right? Okay? We're just spreading everything in evenly as we can. We're going to put the potatoes in. We're following the recipe on the sauce jar. So it said add your vegetables to the crock pot. Top it with this and one cup of water. I'm going to pour this in. And you know I'm going to put the water in here. I won't ever drop out because I don't know about this stuff. But, ooh, I got muscles. Yeah. 
Smell like we might be on to something. Ooh. <laughs> gonna pour it in. It's kind of thick, people. Yeah, it's kind of thick. I'm gonna use the whole jar, okay? Not one, but two pork loins go down with the smothered cheese on top of that. And two things. All right. Maybe it said cook for six hours because they suggested putting lamb in it. Okay. That was just a thought. Don't let me go too far with it, okay? Ooh, let's get that out of there, too. Now it's said to also add one cup of water. This stuff is thick. Okay, let me get my water. After Melody, your dedicated advisor will help you create a comprehensive wealth plan for your full financial picture with the right balance of risk and reward. So you this is a nine ounce jar. So how many ounces is in a cup? Alright then. Oh, you didn't know? Is it eight ounces or is it six ounces? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> it's gonna be good, bro. Okay. Yes. Let me see if I can give you all a close up. Let me open that back up because I need to put that spoon there. I'm going to open it up. I mean, bring it up close so you all can see it because I'm about to insert. I'm going to put the top on it, turn it on high, and pray that it'll be ready within an hour and a half, two hours. Hold tight. Okay. So, I pulled out my cast iron skillet. Thanks, Rose, from Tom Thumb many years ago. Okay. And that's another story another time. This here stuff is my plant-based chicken mixture. It kind of puts me in the mind of Krabby Patties. And for those of you who do not know what Krabby Patties are, I call salmon patties, jack mackerel, or whatever, if you will, Krabby Patties. Because that's what they had at the Krusty Krab on Spongebob. So, what I'm going to do is hopefully get anywhere from 10 to 12 same portion size close to anyway because I'm not measuring I need to invest in a smaller ice cream scoop because usually I would use this but I'm thinking it's a little too big for this um I'm not going to use this I want a smaller one but anyway so we're going to try to go for 10 meatballs it said to put it in a put the oil in the pan I'm making meatballs, so we want to put the oil, then put the meatballs down, and just cook them until they brown. It says nothing about two to three minutes per side, or put a lid on nothing. It, it seems really simple, and for those of us that, see that little Dorothy? <laughs> That's my sister, yeah. Okay. Vegan. Okay, I'm Anyway, it looks like it's telling us that we get 20 grams of plant protein per serving. And according to this um, nutrition information, it says it's four servings per box. But no actual measurement for me, so I'm going to do what I choose to do. Like I said, I'm going to put hopefully... 10 so I can have two meatballs per day during the week if I happen to like them after they cook. If I do not like them, that's one piece of coin I can save. Okay, so let me get to this so we can get it here. Hold tight. Okay, so what I ended up doing, I did use my scooper. I did five even ones, okay? For certain, we will have five even ones. And then with what's left, I just evenly distributed, you know, for five more smaller balls. We're putting them down in that hot skillet, in that oil, and we're just going to hmm, hope for the best, people. Okay, then we're going to wash the little dishes. Don't forget the tip of always having your dishwater ready because 
I'm telling you, meal prep, you're washing dishes all day. The whole time that you're working, you're washing dishes. I'll say it that way. Okay? Did you have your water today? Ooh, I did. It's not vodka, I promise. Hold tight. Okay, it says to cook these balls on um, medium heat. Make sure you um, keep them from sticking. These joints are sticking, okay? I know nothing about these meatballs. These plant balls, yeah. So I'm just going to cook them on all sides. Okay. Oh, and I don't know. I know that I didn't mention. I think I've seen they have also plant-based pork for those of you, you know, that are into that. We cut Willie out of my diet a long time ago. Health issues, but anyways. Okay, so they seem to be sticking. I'm going to put a little more juice on them, okay, because it's my business. I want to, and I'm going to. This is olive oil, okay? And I'm going to turn it down some more. So because I'm thinking I want to turn on my vent hood, I'm not going to be rude and make you all listen to that noise. I'm going to wait till they get completely done and show you the results. Hold on. Okay, so I've browned the meatballs as best I can on all sides. I've off the heat, so I'm going to just... You know what sides are not completely toasted enough. I'm going to allow that to stay in because cast iron skillets stay hot a lot longer than regular skillets. And the whole skillet get hot. So don't come being cocky and thinking that you can touch this hammer without your friend. Because you're going to need a friend. This whole entire skillet is hot. So I'm, like I said, I'm going to let that sit there or whatever and do what it do. In the meantime, I guess... We'll just wait. Oh, this is totally not related to my chicken balls. I made chewy granola bars for breakfast for this week's meal prep. I am now cutting them since they have cooled completely. I'm going to go for 16 squares so that way I can eat two every day, maybe three squares every day. Um... So I'm cutting, I cut it in half, cut the half and half, half and half, and the same thing the next way. That's it for this little bit. I was not even supposed to be giving y'all that in the middle of this video. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay, so this has been in here for an hour and a half. We are going to mix it around to see about how much longer we need to cook. Like I said, I'm cooking it on high. Okay, on high temperature. Let's check it out. Smells like I'm going to be eating good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's cooking. Let me get down in here and show you people what we got grinds on, okay? Ooh, that looks good. Ooh. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you up close. See that? Hour and a half. Let me see. Let me work this camera the right way. <laughs> Y'all, I'm new at this. Hold tight. So I'm thinking I'm going to continue cooking this for another 30 minutes to an hour after a fork test. What I done you know before I came back the potatoes are still a little bit hard which I expected so I'm going to go ahead and cook this still on high for an additional 30 minutes to an hour after that time pass I'll fork check it again and then I'll go ahead and plate it up plating will probably not be in this video I will snap a picture if you go to my Facebook I'm Gladys Thompson on Facebook Gladys Faye if you will you know Gladys Faye in parentheses Gladys Thompson on Facebook.